İyileşin. Hey Master Core, you know what time it is. It's episode 3 time, so let's dive into this. The episode begins with the class trying to figure out what to do for the culture festival. They eventually decide to on Yuki's idea of a rice ball roulette. Basically people buy three rice balls and get a fourth for free. And Kyo gets cats to swarm on them accidentally. And he runs away and explains to Toru that sometimes animals come to him, i.e. rats for Yuki and dogs for Shigure. After the theme song, Toru asks Kyo if he wants to play rich man, poor man. He says no, then Uo baits him into playing. Meanwhile, in the library, a girl is confessing to Yuki and says, oh, and Yuki says, uh, we, we don't do that here. She goes in for a kiss and Yuki's like, ah, bitch. Please. She goes on about how a regular girl wouldn't be enough for him and how he distanced himself from people. Oh yeah, and Kyo loses the game thanks to Hana. In the next scene, Toru thinks or talks to Yuki about the game and I notice another change. So in this version, we're getting honorifics, y'all. So Uo is Uo-chan. Anyway. Kyo is cleaning the room because uh, he lost, that was the bet, and he and Yuki get into an argument, and Yuki lays Kyo out fast, and Kyo comments about how Yuki must be in a bad mood. So at work, um, Toru's thinking about the whole Yuki slash Kyo situation, and she's approached by a boy speaking German. He knows who she is and kisses her on the cheek. We all know this boy is Momiji. Momiji has a new actress, Michaela Kranz, and she delivers. They gave him sort of an accent as well, which is nice. She runs out and is greeted by Yuki. She tries to tell Yuki that if he's burdened by anything, he can talk to her. But before she can, some drunks push her into him and he transforms into the rat. She apologizes and finishes. Yuki basically explains how he feels caged up by the family and how he's annoyed by Kyo because Kyo wants to be in the family while Yuki wants out. He also talks about how he's phony, she's fake. Hey. That it starts raining, and Yuki turns back to normal. Turns out his secret base he mentioned before is a vegetable garden. And he and Toru go out there and defend the base. While doing so, Toru basically says that her mom once told her that people learn to become uh, learn to become kind and are born with desires. And people's kindness look different. Yeah, she's just the sweetest. But yeah, the next day, Kyo meets her in the kitchen and accidentally takes one of the fake rice balls. So he decides to make his own. She's impressed and tries to compliment him, but he's not having that. So she turns her compliment into an analogy, referring to him being talented as a plum on his back. He basically calls her weird and returns the compliment. Yuki comes in and Toru tells him she never went to bed. When Yuki finds out that Kyo doesn't like uh, the rice balls, he force, uh, he force feeds him one, which is savage. The doorbell rings and when Toru opens it, we get our first look at Kagura. At least I'm hoping it's pronounced Kagura. And we get our first glimpse at Tia Ballard. Um, who just sounds, she sounds like the sweetest. Okay, way better than, uh, what's her name, Meredith McCoy. But I digress on that. But yeah, the, that's where the episode ends. Kinda like Brotherhood, the show is foreshadowing things that weren't shown 
uh, before in the original. And I'm okay with that. But as always, that's just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned and I will see you soon.